Oh my god. What is this thing? That's crazy. Look, Look at that. And it is time to now add them to the aquarium. What is going on everyone? Welcome back to another video. We got my buddy Ryan over here. He's grilling it up today and we are going to be searching for aquarium invertebrates. For example, the shrimp we caught, the arrow crabs, and all the snails and crabs. That's kind of what we're looking for, a part two of catching aquarium invertebrates. You guys like that one so much, we're back to do it again. You never know what we might find though. We might find eels, groupers, lionfish. <laughs> that was crazy. Guys, comment. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, guys, I'm not sure what we'll find. I'm not gonna talk anymore. Let's head in the water and see what we can find. Like seaweed in this? This is good. Oh, oh, right here, right here. No way! <laughs> yes! We <laughs> got one. It's so sick, dude. I'm so He's definitely going right in the aquarium. <laughs> dude, what should we name him? Patrick? SpongeBob? <laughs> oh, no. But this is so sick. I'm actually very excited. I wanted dude. starfish. They don't really sell them that much in aquarium stores. So, that's sick. You gotta go it, out and catch them. Dude, honestly, if it wasn't for that trick you told me about feeling around in the sand, we wouldn't have found it. Yeah, so this guy is definitely going in the aquarium. What do you. You said you want to name him Patrick? I think we should name him Patrick. First one will be named Patrick. Wait, wait, wait. Anything that we find second, you guys name. Wait, 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 wait. I don't know if we should be named Patrick. That's a girl. Patricia. <laughs> Patricia. <laughs> Patricia. <laughs> We're going to be adding our starfish to this little bucket. We filled up with the same water. Boom. Doom sound effect. Insert. Oh my god, what is this thing? Nick, come here, I have no idea what this is. Oh! That's a white sea urchin. What the heck? Where is it? Dude, oh. what is that thing? We, me and Chad saw one like this big. They're, they're uh, literally called white sea urchins. You know the ones I have in my What tank happens now? if I step on that? Like, actually step on that? Honestly, don't know. So, yeah, this is a white sea urchin. They're not that rare, but they're really cool looking. We usually catch the black ones. I mean, I guess you could say they're rare because me and Chad go out and we'll find like hundreds of brown ones and then we'll occasionally see a, like a white one. So it's pretty cool. This is able to go in the aquarium, so I think we should put her in. We have two black ones right now. Oh my God, it's moving. Get that, bro. Look, look, at, look at all those things moving. Oh, yeah. That's crazy. So we're going to put her in the bucket as well with our starfish and I think we're going to add this one to the aquarium. Check underneath these. Like, I'm trying. Hand. I know, brother, brother. I just checked over here, there's nothing. Yeah, but depending on you, nah. <laughs> what you trying to say, bud? <laughs> oh, oh. I got another one. <laughs> How? Yes. Oh, he's missing a little part of his arm. I was looking Look for Look at him. that. That's, oh, poor little guy. What happened, buddy? Yeah, so this is another type of, I don't know if that's the same species. The other one looked a lot more white, but maybe just because it's darker in this area, it wasn't in the light. No, uh, no, I thought that was a no, leech. This one is like darker though. Yeah, think? this might be a different kind. I'm not sure. If you guys know what kind of starfish this is, drop it in the comments down below. So yeah, we're gonna add this guy to the bucket as well, cause I'm trying to get about six starfish for my aquarium, maybe seven. It's, two, it's a 200 gallon aquarium. So, and these guys are great cleaners. They go through the sand and they stir up everything. They stir up the algae that is lying on top of the sand. Now we're gonna add our starfish to the bucket with our second starfish and our white sea urchin. All right, Todd's starting to rip a little bit more. It's a little bit more challenging. Oh my God, there's tons of little hermit crabs under the rock. <laughs> Oh, dude. I have them all in my hand. Oh my gosh, I've, no way. Got him. Oh. Got him. They're all over these rocks, dude. It's, it's, it's this crazy. Area, the, the current, when it's, rich, when it's rushing through here, because this is like a little lagoon, they all get pushed in here. Everything, like all the little hermit crabs. That's why there's so many hermit crabs. This is, this is all hermit crabs right here. We're it's literally crazy. surrounded by people finding these, and it just goes to show you how healthy our ocean life is here in the good old Jupiter, Florida. But guys, look at that. 
No, he's right moving now. his legs. Look at that. Oh, wow. look, look at his little legs. Look, look on, on his things. That's oh, on. Wow. That's sick, dude. That's so sick. That is cool. They're, they're, uh -huh. like, they're like punch. Let me see him. Yeah, absolutely, man. Just treat. My I just don't trust you holding him. You know, just know? treat my man good. That's I. Right. I think they grow their arms back. I'm almost positive they do. Oh, well, let's hope so, buddy. Let's go put him in. <laughs> Two hours later. Oh, get it. He's get done. It. Right. He's done. Oh my god. He's done. He's gonna pinch you. He's gonna pinch you, dude. He doesn't even know that he oh. talked. Go, 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 go. I'm trying. Oh, dude, we're in trouble. No. Oh, I got him. Holy cow. Holy cow. <laughs> Holy cow. Oh. Dude. Can this go in your tank, Nick? It? It's a blue, baby blue crab. Are you serious? Hold on. Oh, oh my gosh, God. it is. That's so sick. I thought he was gonna get away when he went under there. That was so crazy. Yeah, so we got our three starfish, one white sea urchin, and three hermit crabs in the bucket. And do you want to continue searching? I, mean, I think that's why we're here. So let's go get him, baby. First thing I get I get him. So I think we're gonna be wrapping it up right now. We've been out here for probably three and a half hours, and we found three starfish, one white sea urchin, and three hermit crabs. I mean, if you ask me, that's pretty good. I mean, we were out here for three hours, and starfish are pretty rare to find, actually. I mean, I don't see them often, but I know oh, they're in here. And, and dealing with him is also making it longer. I think we're gonna head home and add our aquarium invertebrates to the aquarium and see how they do. Let's head home. And we are back at the house now. We got our invertebrates in this bucket right here. And Ryan, do you want to do the honors of putting them in? I would love to, actually. No, no we're not going to let him. Yeah, basically we're transferring them over to the big bucket so we can take a little drip acclimation and they'll be good to go in the tank after. Those are good for the puffer fish. He likes to eat those? Yeah. And that's all she wrote. And there she goes. It's salt water. What is it about? Perfect. So we'll see you guys in 35 to 40 minutes. What do you want to do for that time? Uh, rock, race, scissors, shoot, battle. Alright. Rock. No, I'm going to go lay down. Bye. So it's been about, what, 30, 30 minutes, 40 minutes, and... 29 to be exact. And, okay, and it is time to now add them to the aquarium. So I think the first thing I'm going to put in it is the white syrup. And this is one of my favorite ones. Sure, I like the green with the white. We're just gonna no bumblebee. Uh, no. Silly dropper. Oh, boom! Oh, look, she's moving right now. That's beautiful. <laughs> oh, you just bit him. Okay, ready? Let's add one of these hermit crabs. See if the puffer might eat one of them. If not, they get to live another day. <gasps> oh, no way. The puffer will eat the snails and everything. It's good for their beak because their beak will like get very, very pointy, so this like sheds it down a little. See their beak, his beak. Yeah, actually there's a broken beak, wow. Next is one of our starfish. This thing's sick. I'm almost positive. Um, next is one of the snails. Ryan actually caught this guy. I did, indeed. And we're just gonna add him too. His name is Gary. Oh, look, oh, look at him. He's a, hey, okay. bad. No, 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 you guys, this is just what they do when, when we introduce new life. Yeah, they think it's food, and then they'll realize it's not food, and then they won't do anything. What are you adding? I'm going to add the last batch of our little critters right here, which is two starfish and a little micro dude right here. There he goes, going down, and he made it. Safe and sound. All right, guys, we're going to add our one-legged bandit right there. Here we Perfect. go, flip it. We'll flip them over in just a second. Now, we're gonna add the last of them, and let's try to get him a little bit, I'm gonna try to put him on this rock right here. Boom. And okay. epic fail, but okay. hey, hey, perfect. You gotta realize it's not food. Yeah. All right, get, grab that starfish, fix him real quick. Just put him in the sand, they like the sand. So we got all our starfish right here in the sand. We even got our hermit crabs and snails and our white sea urchin that's making its way up onto the rock right now. But anyways, oh look, look at the little, 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 little crab. <laughs> so cute. Anyways, that is all we got for you today. We caught a bunch of starfish that I don't usually catch a lot, but with the help of Ryan, he was a big help, so go subscribe. 
to his YouTube channel. Down in the description, his link will be right there. Go subscribe to him. What was it 70k? Come on, guys. Help, him him get, help, come help on. the kid get the 70k. Come on, come on. Baby, come on. Anyways, with that being said, we'll see you in the next one. See ya! See ya.